Um, in the footnotes, a charter is a contract between an organized group and a state authorized body. <laughs> Chartering success, the schools for students who need it most. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, there is this very real possibility, yes, <laughs> that these um, charters, yes, the court ruled that incorporation could be a necessary proper means for the federal government to achieve an end assigned <laughs> to it by the U.S. Constitution. Yeah. <laughs> now, my thought was, yes, <laughs> Let's say I uh, I documented the fraud, yes, <laughs> of issuing court orders without jurisdiction of law. <laughs> and you said, well, we as a nation, we don't have to enforce the Charter of the United Nations. <laughs> and then I documented numerous times where you arrested me, yes, but you refused to admit the evidence that I wasn't in Squim, Washington, yes. I wasn't in Brennan, Washington, right? And that um, it's fraudulent for you to issue a court order that has forgeries on it. Now, a lot of the monies that are received from states actually come from the federal government. Yes. And thus, the power to incorporate the court rule lies with both the sovereigns in the U.S. federal system, states, and the federal government. Mm. Now, these same employees, right, of these corporations, phew, uh, they do have the same whistleblower obligations. Mm -hmm. Now, I gave you the evidence, and you're refusing to do what the law says. Mm. You know, uh, let's say mm -hmm. that you did title the assets, mm -hmm. the nonprofit corporations, fraternal and patriotic organizations, the Daughters of the American Revolution. Yes. Do they have some obligation? Oh. Foundations, trust, and miscellaneous corporations supporting nonprofit uses? <laughs> the National Park Foundation, the National Trust for Historic Preservation in the United States, and the Legal Services Corporation. <laughs> now, the Legal Services Corporation is a corporation that I'm familiar with, yes, as an indigent pauper, <laughs> that... Um, the, the thought, yes, as a not-for-profit that you received actual taxpayer funds, yes, and the grant money for the uh, states, yes, was used to pay for my indigent uh, public defender services, yes, where the public defender refused to admit the evidence that I wasn't in school. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you filed a two-count criminal complaint in Jefferson County, yes, where I didn't cyberstalk because I didn't email the Quilcene School District. Yes. And I didn't email the Brennan School District. Right. And the the Office of Supervision of Public Instruction. Yeah. Uh, they refused to acknowledge the civil rights of my sons. Mm -hmm. Now, the Legal Services Corporation is getting sued. Pooch, because they have a direct liability. Pooch, give me the assets of that not-for-profit and all the individuals employed there. Yes. Now, there's another corporation called a bank. Yeah, they provide financial services. <laughs> I know. We don't think of them as a bank. <laughs> New York Mellon. <laughs> Yesterday, we were talking about the state fiscal agents. Yes. <clears throat> and their liability. Yes. For Washington State refusing to enforce <laughs> waste, fraud, abuse, and mismanagement of federal monies, as well as the securities fraud of issuing securities to municipalities. <laughs> now, this little bank called the Export-Import Bank, <laughs> why don't we get the actual assets of them and the employees, <clears throat> their assets, <clears throat> who they are, <clears throat> where they're at right now, and then there's a little bank there, and <clears throat> is it in Washington, D.C., exactly where... Where are the 12 branches of the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States? Because I realized I did a little study on this. <laughs> <laughs> You've got 12 different branches of the Federal Reserve Bank of... Are you of the United States or are you the Federal Reserve Bank? <laughs> Could you get me the actual incorporation documentation of the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States? <laughs> See, I kept emailing them. <laughs> I kept emailing them forgeries. Yes. <laughs> Fraud. <laughs> child abuse and child neglect. Boo! <laughs> I kept emailing them the authority of the United Nations. <laughs> now, let's say you are the Federal Reserve Bank. <laughs> You're sitting there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I just wanted to know <laughs> the actual title of the bank. Is it really called the Federal Reserve Bank or is it called the Federal Reserve Banks? How do you spell the name of that individual bank that does receive some sort of uh, taxation support? <laughs> For the printing of those notes. <laughs> now, commercial corporations. <laughs> now, listen, no, listen. I, I know. I know. I know you're a bank. You're saying I can't sue you, yes, for um, being complicit in, yes, waste, fraud, abuse, and mismanagement. <laughs> There's no possible way that I personally could sue for the physical assets of the Federal Reserve Bank. There's no way. You're sure of it, General. <laughs> well, oh, look at Alan. You were there for what, 20, 25 years? <laughs> Did you go through the original documentation of the incorporation? <laughs>